One of the stars of the show is the Nikolai Saturn 16 MGU in this gorgeous like cherry or candy red. Now this bike, I've done a whole video on this bike already. I've ordered one and I cannot wait to get it, but it's been great to see it here at Eurobike and it's actually got some updates with the Pinion MGU that I'll cover. A quick overview of the bike is a 160, 160 Enduro bike, full aluminium with the Pinion MGU, the motor gearbox all in one belt drive, no cassette, no derailleur, nothing to get smashed off. It is so neat and it works beautifully well. I spent a weekend in Finale Ligura riding a test version of this and I was so impressed. I absolutely loved it. I actually think these drive units with the all-in-one motor gearbox unit combined is an absolute game changer. Things like being able to shift when you stood still. Auto shift is now featured on this and they've now introduced overrun to the motor, which is one of the features I was really looking forward to. So a cool new feature, auto shift, when you're pedaling. So if I hold down this button here, I can actually see on the display the cadence that I want it to match the gearing to. So if I select 80 RPM, what it will do is it will match the gearing to always shift. So I'm pedaling around 80 RPM and it's completely automatic. Now there's a pro version as well which means I can set it but I can also override it by pressing the shifter at any time. So the way I think I would use this is if I'm cruising on a fire road and getting to the top of a trail I'm just going to put it into auto shift but when I get to the top of the trail I still want to be able to shift for the corners and all the features and this allows me to because I've got the uh, ability to override the automatic shifting which is really cool. But I guess one of the biggest features they've introduced and maybe a buzzword for lots of e-bike systems at the moment is overrun. What that means is when I've stopped pedaling, the bike will continue to propel me forward for a short period of time, which is really critical for getting up techie climbs like enduro stages, the power stages for the EWS. You really need that overrun to help use the bike's momentum to get you up and over features. So this 2025 MGU update has that now kind of built into the motor and that's one of the things I love about e-bikes they keep getting better every six months or so or one year they come with pretty significant updates so the Nikolai Saturn 16 MGU is a standout bike for 24 25 and I think a lot of people are really sold on the concept of enduro bikes with these all-in-one motor gearbox units We've got this amazing machine in the background that yeah. I love my time on and it's great to see it here at Eurobike and I notice it's like the same colors as the bike we rode in Finale. Yeah. I thought is it the one we rode but this looks shiny and too new to be that one. Exactly exactly but we love the colorway you had and uh, we want to make it uh, known as your bike <laughs> <laughs> basically so uh, we are proud to have it here though. It's so cool. We launched it in April in Riva del Garda so and since then uh, our inbox is going crazy we are really happy and proud that it is that way and people who rode it are amazed of uh, the motor are amazed of the climbing cap uh, capabilities and uh, downhill obviously so it's the quietest uh, mgu downhill wise on the market so uh, we are really happy nice yeah. congratulations yeah. and i Thank think you. the mgu in itself is something that people already want they, they just they, yes. they want it already it doesn't even yeah. need to be sold but seeing it packaged in such a cool way with the bike and the geometry and the yeah. nikolai style and design and heritage yeah. i think just adds to that as well yeah yeah you know we are aiming to have a gearbox bikes bike since like forever. So Nikolai is there since um, the mid 90s and we invented a gearbox bike, uh, a push bike in like end of the 90s. And uh, since we started with electric mountain bikes like seven, eight years ago, we are uh, doing uh, Gates carbon drive, belt drive uh, in combination with a, a gear hub uh, so this is the perfect solution, finally, uh, for us. <laughs> so yeah. all of that time we've been building up to, yeah. to something like yes. this. Yes. What, what I've got to say is you've got one of the coolest looking stands of just showing how your bike is produced. What, this is the, you've got the raw metal, the raw aluminium yeah. down here. Try yeah. to pick up that block, it's quite uh, heavy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I try to, it's 7.8 kilograms. Yeah. So this is uh, 
the raw material for uh, the pinion bridge. So it's basically this part, uh, which is CNC machined for, I would say, uh, one side. So the bigger one is machined for, uh, I think, 55 minutes and then the other side for another 30 something so it's quite a lot of time on the machine and um, the the ratio of the cnc milling from the raw block is like 7.8 to 600 grams something like that so uh, quite a lot of time and and material got yeah. it yeah, yeah nice but look at it's beautiful isn't it it is it is nice i think it's to be fair <laughs> uh it's beautiful from the outside, but if you look at the inside, the, the CNC uh, pass, it's uh, it's almost more shiny and beautiful on the inside. It really is, it really is. It's, it's yeah. so cool, I love to see. And I noticed on the down tube, you've got yeah. this like cross hatch pattern on it. What, yes. is that? Is that strength and weight saving or a bit of both or design? It's, it's a bit of both yeah. and design. So Nikolai is famous for the CNC work. So we had to do something with the MGU and with the down tube here. Uh, it's, you know, we had on our former models, we had an octagon shaped down tube and uh, with the uh, fit battery here, it didn't give us a chance to, to design it that way. So we decided to go, go with that uh, special pattern there. Awesome. And I yeah. just want to swing around this other side here. Yeah, sure. It looks like, uh, are you employing somebody to build bikes in here? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it's just to show how we do it. So, but this uh, in particular is a real welding jig out of our factory. So this, for example, is from our Saturn 40 and Swift, the light EMTB with the Bosch SX motor. And we want to show what it takes or what it needs to be, uh, to build a frame uh, and to weld it. So for example, all the tubes are cutted on a CNC machine um, according the special geometry. So the guy who is operating on the CNC machine is also able to spot weld it. So that's a huge advantage in the production of Nikolai. Um, just uh, like I would say five years ago, a welder uh, had to take every tube out of the box, which was already cut it, and put it in the welding jig. And we optimize our process to um, make it happen by the guy who operates the CNC machine to spot weld the frame. So the welder itself just needs to put the real famous Nikolai welds on it and not work uh, on the jig anymore. So the, the it can be done all in one place rather yes. than getting individual parts out. Exactly. It's already in place and yes. the spot welding, which is the initial part of the welding. Exactly. Can be yeah. completed all in one go. So yeah. it's just yeah. way more efficient. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. 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 These welds look really classic as well, don't they? They do. They do. Uh, absolute features of the bike. And yeah. so we've got, is this, what, what, what frames are these? Is this the MGU? Or the, uh, this is the Saturn 14 Swift. Yeah. So the one with the Bosch SX motor. So our light EMTB answer, and uh, yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing. You've got a really cool stand here, and Thank I you. cannot wait to get my bike, man. I'm so excited yeah. about getting it and building it, and yeah, well done for creating an amazing product. So cheers, man. Cheers to your time. Cheers.